Swindon once again let a win slip away. Kevin Amanqua's header had put them one up against Exeter. But Richard Logan rescued a draw for the home side. With only one win in their last five games, Exeter City were looking to kickstart their season against Swindon at St James Park. But it was the visitors who got off to the brighter start. John Paul McGovern forcing a smart save from Grecian stopper Oscar Janssen. The home side had chances of their own. Midfielder Craig Noon on loan from Plymouth, splitting the defence to almost give Exeter the advantage. Swindon had the best chance of a goalless first half. Simon Ferry squandering one of the easier headers he'll have this season. All well, that was forgotten early in the second half. Kevin Amanqua rising highest to power home his second in two games. 1-0 to Swindon. Buoyed by the opener, Danny Wilson's men look to double their advantage moments later. The impressive Janssen showing superb reactions to deny Jonathan Douglas. Exeter had the fearless Janssen to thank again midway through the half. The young Swede suffering in a heavy collision with substitute Ben Hutchinson. Thankfully, after treatment, he was able to continue. Still only one goal down, Exeter pressed for an equaliser and piled the pressure on the Swindon defence. Welsh international Richard Duffy firing just wide. At the other end, Swindon had another chance to put the game out of reach. Michael Timlin's free kick pushed wide by the superb Janssen. The home side refused to lie down. With full-time looming, Danny Seaborn crossed for substitute Richard Logan to turn the ball in off the upright. It brought the scores level at 1-1. Not content with a share of the points, Exeter could have won it late on. David Lucas showing smart reactions to keep Swindon on level terms. That was to be the last chance of an entertaining encounter. 1-1 it finished, Exeter happy to have salvaged a vital point. Stuart Fleetwood and Adam Stansfield had to content themselves with starts from the bench as Exeter City welcomed Swindon to St James's Park. For Danny Wilson, he had to ring the changes. Alan O'Brien still out with hamstring problems. From a free kick, Swindon very nearly took the lead. John Paul McGovern with the effort, a great save by Janssen. Simon Ferry's header ricocheted off the crossbar as Swindon piled on the pressure in the opening exchanges. Just eight minutes into the second half, the deadlock was broken. McGovern's corner, Akamwa's header past Janssen, 1-0 lead to the Robins. The visitors continued to press, and but for Janssen's fantastic goalkeeping, it could have so easily been 2-0. Jonathan Douglas with this effort. With the keeper in such fine form, a moment of worry for Paul Tisdale as he saw Oscar Janssen go down after a hefty challenge from Ben Hutchinson. Fortunately for Grecian fans, the stopper was able to continue. And he managed to get down well from a fantastic free kick to keep Exeter City in this game. And indeed, the Grecians managed to rescue a point with just three minutes to go. A wonderfully weighted cross from Danny Seaborn was met with Richard Logan's flying header, the substitute equalising with a little bit of help from defender Scott Cuthbert. Exeter could have sealed their second home win of the season, but for a fantastic save from David Lucas. The final score, Exeter 1, Swindon 1. Uh, Swindon Simon Ferry follows one of the golden rules of heading, head it down. Yeah. <laughs>